Welcome back. Today on Dialed in DIY, we're going to make something important to help protect your valuables from humidity. Hey, you don't want to let humidity or moisture damage your important stuff. Sensitive items like photos or photo albums, electronics, tools, keepsakes, boxes that you might have in storage, other project materials and things like that can get damaged easily. In a prior video, which is linked in the description below, we actually made a tool for this purpose. In fact, you can learn from that video how to get your silica gel crystals as well as how to use them and reset them when you need to. In this project, we're making a slightly larger version of the same drying item that you find in a lot of consumer products that you purchase in the stores. This time, we need materials such as tape, scissors, a stapler, spoon, the gel crystals, and some tea bags. I had a bunch of expired tea bags, and this seemed like a perfect use for them. So our first step, get the tea bag ready to use for a new gel packet. I've used two different kinds of tea bags, but the first step for both is the same. You need to cut the end off and get the old tea out. This first kind of tea bag is actually great for slightly larger silica gel packs because it's a single tube open from end to end once you cut it open and get all the tea out. I cleaned out a whole bunch of these in advance so that actually I can show you what this second type looks like. Let's get them separated first and then I'll show you what we have. You can see with this second bag, it's actually sealed in the middle. So in essence, you have two bags. Once you've cut the end and gotten the tea out, it opens from two ends, but sealed in the middle. We need to separate these two across the middle so that we can use them as two smaller tea bags or two smaller silica packs. To begin step two for the larger of the tea bags, we're gonna close one end. We're just gonna roll it up a couple, three times and then put a piece of tape across it to make sure it stays sealed closed. After I've got the tape on there, I take the extra, probably unnecessary step of adding a staple to it. They had one in the tea bag, so I'm adding one here too. It's just a little extra security to make sure I don't end up with silica crystals inside any of my boxes or kits that I use these in. So, step three, let's add the silica crystals to the bag. You can see I'm actually just taking a spoon and adding about a teaspoon into the bag, and you can actually see through it a little bit to get a little bit of that blue indicator crystal and look at it. Now we're gonna close up the bag exactly as we did on the other end when we started. While in the previous project, the version that we made in that pill bottle was actually a little bit more rugged and durable, the great thing about using a tea bag is it's meant to diffuse moisture. So at this rate, we have much more surface area to allow moisture to get in and be trapped by the desiccant. And this is now perfect. You have a bag ready to use for whatever need you have. I'll also make the smaller version so you can see how the second type of tea bag works for the same kind of a project. It's great because when you start, you've already got one end that's sealed. All you have to do is move on to step two, filling it. I use just a little bit more than a half a teaspoon in the smaller size packet. There you have it, a second smaller silica gel pack. Now from the previous video, you have a larger durable version you can use. We just made two sizes that are more absorbent and you can always go back to the kind that came in the packages of things you bought before. Just remember with the ones we just made, they have indicator crystals which will change color from blue to kind of a pink when they're saturated so you can reset them. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.